Harmony Express Schoolie, episode 14. Here we are once again. Well, we've gotten a bunch done this time. Um, we've this is it's exciting you know we're, we we start putting stuff in and we start doing um doing the work inside the bus and and what do you see what happens uh, we've done some stuff under we've done water we've done electrical but let me explain a little bit inside progress inside progress looky there pocket holes for days we got pocket holes for days got inside wall number one taken care of we know down here this is where our shower drain pan is going to go. And I went down and looked underneath in the bus and there it's clear of all ribs and everything from that side. So we got our first wall is officially up. Yay. So you saw the pocket holes for days. Guess what? There's more, there's more pocket holes. Cause guess what? We have a bathroom framed. Look at that. There will be a sliding door that comes along here and closes up here. So if you look, as you come down this wall, notice that that back wall is in from the front wall. So this wall here is out slightly further. We put it out so it would fit for the, the shower pan. You come down here, oh, trip. Um, and this is in. Well, because there'll be wall board on the outside and then the door, actually then a slider, then the door, the door will run straight up there straight up there into the uh into the upper wall so there it is that's that and you come in here into our bathroom and obviously there's no wallboard on so it's just still opened up but you know so we in here have a shower we boxed in the wheel well and you step up and hit your head and then you use the composting toilet there and there we are there'll be a sink We've, we're working on that over here this is our going to be a mechanical chase in through here um yeah so that's really really good work for a saturday got that all taken care of but well, we are at the point now welcome to our bedroom where we are ready to start doing a bit of plumbing and we're going to be using pex for the most part the uh, gravity fill is plumbed and in to the fresh water tank the air breather comes out and goes back out there. The drain goes out there. I ended up using the heater um, outlet for the bus. It was a, a hole that I already went to the outside. Um, and it kind of, where we sit here, heading downhill, is on the lowest point of the tank and the system. So that's plumbed in there. Right now the valve is shut off there. And then we have the outflow coming out to our water pump, to a filter, to the SureFlow water pump through an accumulator, that there is to help reduce pulsation and cycling on the pump. Um, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, I've also designed this so that this piece of wood that has the pump and the actuator attached to, I disconnect the filter there and I disconnect from my PEX over here and there's, there's gonna be a swivel fitting there and this whole pump during the winter can come out so it doesn't get frozen. So that's taken care of there. We will uh, show you as we start doing our PEX. Um, it's gonna come out there into the wall and it's gonna join into the city water. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Here we go. So when you're, when you're doing this thing, you know, it's not like building a regular house. You can't like be only working on one thing. You can't say, okay, we're gonna do all the framing. Then we're gonna do all the insulation. Then we're gonna do all the water. Then we're gonna do all the electrical. It's like one thing after another. I can't tell you how many times that uh, Allison and I started working on a project and said, no, wait a minute, wait, 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 we can't do that. We, we have to do something else. But we kind of dug our, our feet in and you saw, um, we dug our feet in it and, and put the, the shower pan in and said, okay, shower pan's gonna go here. It's gotta go there so that um, we can get down through there with, with the plumbing. So that was there. We said, okay, that was it. So that then got us to be able to frame this wall in. That's all framed in the way it's supposed to be. Um, you'll, you saw in that previous thing, that's all done. So then it was time for water. Well, we came back here. And we started with getting everything plumbed in for our 
water tank. Now, again, this is a construction zone. I apologize, it's a mess. This is the city water that goes out to, the, to a hose fitting out there. One-way valve only lets water go in that way. The pump has a one-way valve on it that only lets water go that way. So then it goes in the wall and goes up. Cold water comes through, goes up through here. Sorry, it's a construction zone. It's a mess this time around. Comes up through here. We have two drop ear elbows because we're going to put a sink in here. Two drop ear elbows. Comes up. Cold water goes through. Comes over to the shower. Goes, continues on and goes down into our closet here where we're going to put our water heater. It also then continues on under the cabinets up to the sink. So then hot water comes from the hot water tank. Comes up through here. Actually tees off and goes to the front but also comes up. Comes in here for the hot water for the shower here. Comes on through here. Comes on through here and goes on down to the drop ear elbow for the sink. Um, you notice that we use white pecs. Well, that's because they didn't have the red and the blue in stock at Home Depot because, you know, COVID-19 and all that crap. Then we decided it was time for electricity. So our electricity in the bus, we're going to have a uh, portable air conditioner that sits up in a cabinet up here at the front. So we have one circuit that's dedicated just for that. Then we have power on the driver's side of the bus going all the way back. And then we have, we've divided our, our passenger side in two because of this big ass monstrosity here. Oops, excuse my French. We're gonna have passenger side front and passenger side rear on the 120 volt side, plus a dedicated circuit for the refrigerator. So as you see, what we ended up doing is we ran back here. This is a utility closet here. Uh, drilled down through the hole of the, uh, the floor of the bus. Um, it goes down into the uh, underbelly storage compartments. I used PEX to insulate the wires coming through and it looms all the way across underneath. So we come across and then back and then up into our power cabinet. We're using um, um, basically Nomad's idea and underneath the, uh, the lower bunk here is gonna be where our power cabinet is housed. Our DC uh, uh, 24 volt batteries, leaf batteries are gonna be underneath in the underbelly storage. So anyway, so we have one line here for um, the air conditioner line. Then we have power here at the seat for the, the banquette. It comes back and actually joins up in here. We're gonna have a, a power in the wall along here, uh, but then it also continues on back over the, the bathroom door and down back into the very, very back of the bus there. On this side, we have a plug on that side of our bed, my plug over on this side of the bed, then it's gonna come here where the bunks are. Those are the bunk wires. There's gonna be one power for the bottom bunk and one power for the top bunk. Um, that comes over and then comes into the power cabinet. The refrigerator comes in goes through the wall here and comes down here. So it's a it's a war zone inside here. It's a construction zone. Lots of wood and, and, and things like that. But um, we are, <laughs> I would like to say that there's a method to the madness, but sometimes it's just a madness to the method. Um, one thing leads to another. It says, okay, wait, we can't do this. We have to do something else. So I would like to thank you for watching along. Um, keep, uh, keep on following. We've, we're going to keep on working and, uh, and get it going over on this side, over there. We're almost ready to close in those walls. Once we start closing those in, we can start talking about cabinets and banquettes and all that kind of stuff. But we are working basically from the back to the front. So anyway, watch along. Um, if please, you know, I'm, I'm fairly familiar with electricity and I'm fairly familiar with plumbing, but if there's something that you saw that we did that, might have been a better way. Um, now's the time. Speak up, comment, so, you know, let us know um, what we could do to make it even better. Um, as always, like if the video if you like it. If you don't like it, don't hit the dislike and tell us why. Um, but certainly subscribe and share this as we go along. Uh, we just love sharing this journey along with you and uh, can't wait to show you what happens next time. So for now, thanks a lot. We'll talk to you soon.